Welcome to Monday, October 24th, 2022. This Day Weather Podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com or on their Facebook page. Well, it was a very busy stretch of weather, especially during the middle to the end of the weekend, and it's going to be unsettled all week. Basically, as we have been discussing, the pattern was just going to go through a major phase change, getting us out of what made it so warm, dry, and beautiful, and getting us into a more typical pattern for this time of year. And it's going to be colder, unsettled during this work week ahead. I think by the weekend, it's going to be a little bit better. Now, we're going to have windy areas at times. This will be especially true today and Tuesday, especially in the wind-prone areas along I-25 and Interstate 80. More mountain snow this week. There's a small wave that will bring more snow to the high country, especially western Wyoming, tonight and early Tuesday. Then another system is going to be moving in as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. That will bring more mountain snow, and there will be some snow showers across the low elevations with that system, especially across the south. These aren't major storms, but little ones. You add them up all together, though, and so the snow is going to get a little deeper a little more widespread across the higher elevations as the week wears on. Now, we do expect by the weekend, I think by Friday and into Saturday and Sunday, and maybe, maybe holding on to Halloween Monday, we'll see the weather will be improving. But an active pattern is possible next week. If things fall together, we could have another strong funnel system just after Halloween. So things looking a lot more interesting on the weather front. Have some photos to show you. This is a great shot of what happens when air comes over the mountains and goes east of the mountains. We call mountain waves, or a lot of times what will happen is, as air goes over these mountain peaks and over the front range, notice these clouds here north of Salida, Colorado. You see the wave function? Basically, the air comes over the mountains causing a wave that then propagates downstream. And those clouds showing that wave action beautifully that's why when you fly into Denver along the Front Range, you fly through these waves up and down, up and down you go. The clouds there showing that beautiful wave function right there. Now this was shot on the 21st, just before the weather changed out of Alpine, Wyoming. Of course, this is what it looks like in Western Wyoming this morning over Teton Pass. And this is over Togety Pass. <laughs> Still coming down pretty good early this morning up there. Today's satellite photo shows Basically, the delineation of where the upper level low is, it's kind of really stretched out a little bit. But the main low now heading into the Dakotas, but the counterclockwise spin around the system going to pump in cold air and more snow showers into the mountains today. There you can see the elongated trough kind of getting stretched apart a little bit as it heads into the upper Midwest and Great Lakes. But you notice there's these little ripples. They don't look like much, do they? But this is the time of year where these little ripples or little waves come through the jet stream and when they come in from the northwest that is a great angle the angle of attack of these waves into the continental divide to keep the mountain snow shower chances going off and on all week and also keeping it pretty windy in areas as well in that northwest flow so be ready for that now this is by wednesday a bit of a stronger larger wave is going to be coming in late wednesday into thursday and this could very well produce moisture. This is the forecast through 6 p.m. on Thursday. All the moisture that you see right here basically is with the next few waves coming on in. So more rain and snow for the Pacific Northwest and more mountain snows here and here to some extent the Bighorns, although not as much. And as you go back into the higher mountains, this is just a really good pattern to make it snow into the mountain areas. And there you go. So the high country, in addition to what fell this weekend and today, is going to be getting more. Nothing major. You can see a little bit of snow on the plains. Again, nothing significant. But certainly, after a long stretch of 60s, 70s, and 80s, quite the departure. There's a temperature anomaly by late Thursday. So you can see the chilly weather. Not severe cold, but the chilly weather going to hang around. But boy, I tell you, relative to the 30-year average, look at Utah Western slope of Colorado, the Four Corners area, you know, pretty chilly, really. Low average for late October. As we get into the weekend, this is where the weather pattern gets a little bit better. We do have a closed low right here over Texas and Oklahoma. This will cause some rain shower and thunderstorm activity in the south and across areas to the south and east. You can see that this next wave up here is going to be brought in by this building high in the Gulf of Alaska again. So we have somewhat of a similar scenario to what just happened. 
High pressure building in the eastern Pacific, bringing a strong trough into British Columbia in the Pacific Northwest, and there it is. Now, this is by next Wednesday, going into the 2nd and 3rd of November. We'll see what happens, but we may have another scenario next week where we have another cold wave and another shot of mountain snow and maybe some snow on the plains as well. So certainly a lot more going on with the weather now, and you can see the cold. Look at the western part of North America here. This is by next Wednesday and Thursday, so you can see the cold weather coming back into the west again after a little bit of a warm-up this weekend. Have yourself a great Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.